group of overachievers who no one expected to be playing in December. We uh, got new coaches this year and this team came together. We didn't expect to do real well ourselves, but we came along and we just did great. Dino's win over Mitty was as thrilling as any game this season. The Pioneers score first, gaining confidence against a big, strong Mitty team. Tino is well coached and disciplined, staying composed the entire game. Mitty, though, was tough. Number two, Pete DeStefano did it all for the Monarchs. This kickoff return cuts Cooper Tino's lead to 7-6. Look at this catch on a two-point conversion. DeStefano, just a junior, will be a force next season. Mitty leads 13-7 at the half. Though the Pioneers were far from perfect in the game, they did come up with a big play when they needed it most. This halfback pass from Josh Anderson to Josh. The real deal put Tino up 21-13 with just over one minute left in the game. We've been practicing that for about two months now. We've been working on it and stuff. So, And we got the corners to bite up on the option because we were in the option before that. And threw a perfect pass and just ran it in. But it was not over yet. Mitty rolled down the field and this touchdown pass put the Monarchs to within one. Mitty goes for two. But on a call that could have gone either way, DeStefano with a great catch is ruled out of bounds, and Tino wins it by one. It takes a good team to come back when you've played kind of crappy and you've had too many turnovers and so forth. We had the same kind of mistakes, same kind of turnovers. We came back. Proud as hell of you. Yeah! yeah! They're really proud of the kids, and that's why I'm choked up, not for me or anything else. I'm older, I've been there, I've been there, I haven't been there, I've won, I've lost. But we wanted it so bad for these kids because they've worked so hard. Yes. And this is coming from a non-emotional coach. <laughs> All right, Chuck Reynolds, a terrific guy, and that game is at 2 tomorrow afternoon, so don't get there late. We go back.
Number two, Sasan Geary. Number three, Todd Williams. Number nine, Ben Ariza. Number 11, Renee Bard. Number 12, Steve Mott. Number 17, Alan Wilcox. Number 18, Josh Deal. Number 22, Ernie Monzo. Number 23, Marcus Parker. Number 24, Josh Anderson. Number 28, Sean Dunbar. Number 30, Shane Kelly. Number 33, Kelly Sledge. Number 36, Matt McDonough. Number 41, Alex Zavalos. Number 43, David Jackson. Number 45, Angel Lucero. Number 50, Doug Dodd. Number 51, Ryan Schumacher. Number 52, Sean Mack. Number 56, Brent Hoffman. Number 61, Ardashir Bushugi. Number 63, Spencer Apostolo. Number 64, Jason Barbo. Number 67, Carson Little. Number 68, Keith Blanchard. Number 69, Sean Everman. Number 73, Troy Lowry. Number 74, David Rasheel. Number 75, Corey Beadle. Number 76, Steve Abbott. Number 77, Robin Shelley. Number 78, Ron Pierce. Number 82, Chris Riley. Number 83, Jason Williams. And number 88, Anthony Memio. Introducing the head coach of Cupertino, Charlie Reynolds. His assistants, Bob Startwell, Charlie Peter, Keith Booth, and Kevin Donahue. And the team managers were Bill and Mike Bailey. And now with the captains of Cupertino High School, please come forward at this time to receive the Central Coast Section second place team trophy with our congratulations. Yes. Oh man, I want ya, I can't make it down, I can't make it down, so get out your feet and jump around, jump around.